Hi everyone, I am back. I am back with Scorpio's reading for the month of December. So you have, if you have a Scorpio rising, moon, Venus, wherever the Scorpio placement may be, this reading is for you for the month of December. Sorry for coming out with the reading so late, but I had my energy was down and low. There was a situation I was going through that I have now clearly are, am moving forward and my energy feels absolutely wonderful. So I'm absolutely great and absolutely happy. Uh, we know that um, spirit always has us for our highest good. If the situation needed to be cleared or something wasn't working right, spirit is going to move it out of the way, okay? So this message for this month from what, what I got from spirit is really coming into your own happiness, realizing that no situation, person, person, thing, or even your finances should be controlling your happiness, okay? That comes from within. Also, knowing that your power, you give out your power. Stand in your power. Don't let others take your power away from you. Also, resonating and love okay and accepting everyone for where they're at in their growth process here okay so let's begin with your um december reading and we're going to start with your overall energy is balancing things out i don't know if you can see that card right there you go because the light is hitting it so you need to balance things out you have justice and justice is about balancing things is about finding your peace okay finding your justice okay maybe you're dealing with a court case maybe you are just dealing with circumstances around you that need to be justified or need to find their balance okay and maybe you need to face a truth okay a truth of something so that you can find the justice within it okay um so what i see here is a female she's wearing a white gown the scales are balanced there's a heart there's a feather there's a sun but look at her face. Look at the shock in her face. She has like this shocked facial expression like, did this just happen? Look at it. Do you see her face? I don't know if you can see it, but it's just like, is this really happening? And her crown is heavy. She doesn't, she's not wearing, she's not having a light, you know, like her crown is heavy. Um, so this is just finding justice in some form or shape or balancing things out, okay? And you got two crescent moons, and the moons are always about things that are not clear so far, okay? The next cup you got is eight cups, the eight of cups, and you're walking away from the situation. You, it's very emotional. This is very emotional. You're cloth in a dark cloak. You have like a staff there, but it's the staff is behind you. You're not even bringing the staff in front of you. It's like going behind you. And you're moving away. This is a lot of emotional waters. This moon, this moon here, you have the moon there. And the moon is just telling you of things that are unknown to you. You're going to hear my grandbaby on the background. I put her to put, um, see a show, but she's talking too with me, okay? So there's a moon there, and you're walking away from a situation or circumstance. And this is very emotional for you, okay? Then you have the Six of Swords. So this is actually not such a bad card because swords are behind you, okay? Whatever happened, whatever outcome came through this, it's behind you now. And you're trying to flow into calmer, brighter waters, okay? So it was something that really, really had an emotional effect for you because you have a lot of water here. Uh, at the distance, there's some light. Um, once you move over that way, you'll find better grounding, okay? So really moving away from the situation and knowing that now it's time for you to move away. There's nothing else you can do. You just got to move on and you got to move away from it, okay? Then you have two of wands. And two of wands is putting an idea or communication out there, okay? So now you're setting something out. There's a woman here. One of her um, wands is up and levitated on the air. And the other one she's holding on the side here and she has like an eagle above her. So now this is you putting your ideas, your plans, your thoughts, communication is out there. You're communicating something and bringing something into fruition or putting some an idea out there to see if it's going to work for you or what's going to happen, okay? Last but not least, I got the three of wands as the last card. And in the three of wands, there's two wands behind her. There's one wand she's holding and there's a ship coming in. And there's birds above her. I mean, she doesn't show any facial features or anything. It's almost waiting for your ship to come in. You're waiting for something to pend out, okay? Um, you went through a bird, you're going through a burdensome circumstance. If it hasn't happened yet, it's about to happen. It has something to do with justice 
Um, you're looking surprised in this card, so I'm not really sure what's going on with justice if you're in court or there's something that um, needs to be balanced out that maybe you're not keep making it happen balanced and that's why it's unbalanced and it needs to balance out. Um, spirit wants it to be balanced, okay? So this is what I'm going, so a big change where it takes you to the opposite direction. You got to move away from this. This is no longer serving your good, okay? You have to move away. You got to go on. Or maybe Spirit says, maybe you need to move out of the situation because you're not serving that situation any good, okay? So you get it? So moving and changing things, okay? Um, for your Oracle cards, I got Paradigm Shift 4. Here goes the number 4 for me again. I keep on getting the number 4 a lot. Um, my grandbaby is out there screaming. I can hear her. So I'm probably going to put her pacifier in her mouth. Just hold on for a second. I'll be right back. Five seconds. <laughs> I'm just going to put something in her mouth. So she can be quiet for a little bit. Hello. Hello. Come here, baby. Hey. Here you go. Okay, so I'm back. So I'm going to read you the description. But when I look at this picture, it's like... Universal being of light is over you and you're like in some type of darkness and you fell you have fallen now you need to get up Okay, we can't there's certain things we can't show here So now you need to get up right you need to get up from this fallen space that you're in Okay, and universal being of light is there and he's looking down at you and he's he's giving you this one door He's opening here. Okay, so let's put this card down and see what that means. Okay Some of these Oracle cards have naked people on them. So you got to cover them up <laughs> Anyhow, it says, naked means you're coming, you're, you're letting go of everything. When you're naked, it's letting go and going back down to ground zero, okay? I want you to realize that with that card, okay? And it says here, paradigm shift. You are undergoing radical growth in your belief systems. Now is the time to challenge old attitudes, question previous expectations. You are in an extraordinary time. Great leaps forward can be made in a moment. The world you thought you knew can suddenly break open and a new world can become your reality. I'm telling you, changes. Going, you, you're making a 360. Something has to be made right. Justice is here. Something has to be made right, whether it be by, for you or from your part to another person. It has to be made right, okay? So the justice is here to show that, okay? And you're gonna go through an extreme change. You gotta let go of whatever was there and move forward and then start all over again. And we see it here from your Oracle card, okay? Now, I did take out a message from the Light Oracle. This is great. I love these messages, I really do. They're short, but they're to the point. And I also love my um, Light Workers Oracle. is a great thing because you connect to spirit. It's all talking about spirit and how spirit can help you with these situations, okay? So let's see, um, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's the message for this card. Curiosity. It says, curiosity, the same thing that eludes us all, links us all. Okay? Curiosity leads to understanding. Follow your interests. Find common ground with people of all backgrounds. Really finding justice. Finding the common ground. If there's something that you made wrong, make it right. Or it's going to make itself right. Or vice versa. It could be you to you. You know, another person did it to you. Okay? And with this card, I see like a globe here and there's like dark shadows around it and there's a light in there. And it's really finding your light, finding your light and finding balance between you, another person or situation. It has to be balanced out. Judgment is here. Judgment is going to balance these scales out. Whether you do it or not, judgment is going to do it. Okay. Spirit is going to make it happen. And judge's responsibility is going to be to balance these things out. Okay. So this was your reading for the month of December. I just wanted to let you know that a lot of astrological signs are going through a lot of changes, okay? Uh, letting go of situations, making right situations, changing the way they deal with things, knowing that their happiness comes from within, no situation, no person, not even finances can ha make you feel happy. That happiness has to come from within and holding on to your power. Even if it means that this is big obstacle and now things have to be made right. Maybe something you did wrong has to be made right. You're still going to maintain your power, but now things have to be balanced and judgment came in to balance them. Okay, that's all. And then you'll start it all over again and do something better and make better choices. Okay, so love and light to you. Happy holidays. May you have a wonderful, blessed December. I'll speak to you soon. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.